Welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom's Daily Kindergarten Phonics. This is week one, lesson five. Rhyme time! A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words, like the at sound in cat, hat, and bat. Mop, stop. You say those words. Mop, stop. Do you hear the op sound in mop? and stop. Those two words rhyme. Now it's time to practice. Listen as I say the two rhyming words. Repeat the words back to me. If the words rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If they don't rhyme, give me a thumbs down. Wish week. Thumbs down. Rate mate. Thumbs up. Tall tap. Thumbs down. Bait late. Thumbs up. House mouse. Thumbs up. Good job. Beginning sounds. Name the first sound in the word. Listen for the first sound in the word. Make. What sound do you hear at the beginning of make? Say the sound, not the letter. Mmm, make. Good job. Let's practice. What sound do you hear at the beginning of dock? Duh. What sound do you hear at the beginning of whack? Wah. What sound do you hear at the beginning of jump? Ja. What sound do you hear at the beginning of movie? Mmm. What sound do you hear at the beginning of kite? K. Great job. Blending to make words. Blending to make words means we put all the word parts together to make a new and bigger word. Base ball. Baseball. Do you hear the two word parts? Base ball. Together make baseball. You say base ball. Baseball. Good job. Now repeat after me. Sun room. Sun room. Class room. Classroom. Bath room. Bathroom. Sun day. Sunday. Birthday, birthday. Great job. Ending sounds. Listen for the last sound you hear in the word. Sad. What sound do you hear at the end of sad? Say the sound, not the letter. Duh. Good job. All right, let's practice. What sound do you hear at the end of rib? Buh. What sound do you hear at the end of rave? V. What sound do you hear at the end of size? Z. What sound do you hear at the end of fudge? J. What sound do you hear at the end of mice? S. Great job. Segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down into smaller parts. Cupcake. Cup cake. Do you hear the two smaller parts in the word cupcake? Cup and cake. Say cupcake. Break it down into two small parts. Cupcake. Cup cake. Good job. All right, let's practice. Repeat after me. Playbook. What two parts do you hear in the word playbook? Playbook. Say gr playground. What two parts do you hear in the word playground? Playground. Say playroom. What two parts do you hear in the word playroom? 
play room. Say playland. What two parts do you hear in the word playland? Play land. Say playoff. What two parts do you hear in the word playoff? Play off. Good job. Now let's work with compound words. Compound words are two words put together to make one. We can add to the end of a word to make a compound word. Say some. Add one at the end and the new word is someone. Good job. All right, let's practice. Say super. Add star to the end of super and the new word is Superstar. Say run. Add way to the end of run and our new word is runway. Say sail. Add boat to the end of sail and our new word is sailboat. Say cross. Add walk to the end of cross, and our new word is cross walk. Say candle. Add stick to the end of candle, and our new word is candle stick. Great job. Now let's take away words. We can take away a word from the end of a compound word and say what is left. Say someone. Without one, what is left? Some. Very good. All right. Say playtime. Without time, what is left? Play. Say playroom. Without room, what is left? Play. Say playground. Without ground, what is left? Play. Say playhouse. Without house, what is left? Play. Say playtime. Without time, what is left? Play. Great job. Changing words. We can change part of a word to make a new word. Say playtime. Change time to house, and the word is playhouse. All right, let's practice. Say toothbrush. Change brush to paste, and the new word is toothpaste. Say toothpaste. Change paste to ache, and the new word is toothache. Say fireman. Change man to fly and the new word is firefly. Say firefly. Change fly to proof and the new word is fireproof. Good job. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. What's the letter? I. What's the sound? I. What's the letter? B. What's the sound? B. What's the letter? F. What's the sound? F. What's the letter? G. What's the sound? G. What's the letter? H. What's the sound? What's the letter? R. What's the sound? Er. What's the letter? K. 
okay. What's the sound? K. What's the letter? E. What's the sound? E. What's the letter? C. What's the sound? K. What's the letter? L. What's the sound? L. What's the letter? X. What's the sound? X. What's the letter? J. What's the sound? J. What's the letter? Q. What's the sound? Qua. What's the letter? M. What's the sound? M. Mm. What's the letter? D. What's the sound? D. What's the letter? O. What's the sound? Ah. Uh. What's the letter? P. What's the sound? P. What's the letter? N. What's the sound? N. Mm. What's the letter? A. What's the sound? A. What's the letter? S. What's the sound? S. What's the letter? Z. What's the sound? Z. What's the letter? V. What's the sound? V. What's the letter? U. What's the sound? U. Uh. What's the letter? W. What's the sound? W. What's the letter? T. What's the sound? T. What's the letter? Y. What's the sound? Yeah. Now it's time to do an activity with your teacher. Your teacher will say a line. You will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Count how many words are in each line. Teachers, pause the video so that you can do this activity with your class. That is the end of our lesson for the day, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.